Hello from the Expedition 50 crew. We'd like to share with you today a little bit about what Christmas means to us in this time, uh, this time of year. For me, it's a lot about family. Uh, we always travel typically to uh, meet up with our family because we're dispersed all over the country. Uh, we go home to Georgia quite a bit or Florida or sometimes Colorado to meet up with all of our um, immediate and, and distant family members. Always a great time just to get together and share with each other. Um, this season is typically thought of as all about getting things around Christmas, but we and our family try to, to think of it as the giving aspect, um, giving of our many talents and of our resources and of our time to others less fortunate. Um, it's also a season uh, that I love. I just love kind of the Christmas season and, and all the lights and the music and everything that kind of leads up to it. Um, and my family, I think, shares the same thing. I'll now pass off to Peggy Whitson. Hi. Well, I think being on board the ISS gives us a, a slightly different perspective of Christmas. Obviously, friends and family are important to all of us. Uh, but besides uh, funny hats, uh, <laughs> there is another very important aspect of, of being on ISS, and that's seeing the planet as a whole. And it actually reinforces, I think, that the fact that we should live uh, as one people and strive for peace. And uh, I can only second what, what's been said before. Uh, I remember growing up, I was, uh, I was born in a very big family. I had 25 cousins. And um, for most of them, the only time uh, we could catch up was around Christmas time. So I was very much looking forward to that. Uh, this year, I, I won't be able to be there, of course, but I'll, uh, I'll, think, of, I'll think of them. I'll try to give them a call, uh, catch up as much as I can, and uh, make the most of this uh, opportunity to look at the Earth. Uh, reflect about what Christmas means uh, to us as individuals, to to the world in general, and uh, and I think we'll uh, we'll have a we'll have a good time on board the ISS and share a Christmas meal together. Thanks, Tomas. Speaking of a meal, we'd like to share with you um, some of the items we're going to have up here for Christmas dinner. Um, Tomas has some special European food. I'll let him show you that and talk about it. So I'm uh, lucky enough to have recipes that's been, uh, that have been prepared for me by uh, French chefs. And they're all based on, uh, on ingredients that I used to, to love when I was a kid, that my grandmother used to cook uh, for the big family dinners that we had around Christmas time. So uh, as a main, I'll have a chicken supreme uh, with morals, which is uh, a delicacy uh, that we'll share together and have enough, not just one can, but enough for everybody in the crew. Um, as dessert, we'll have uh, gingerbread, uh, which is also a special, special one that I remember from uh, way back when, and that's going to make me uh, travel down memory lane, and I hope you guys will like it. And uh, as a starter, because we don't do things in, a, in order on the ISS, we'll have uh, ox tongue, which is also typical of the region I was, uh, I was born in, the region I'm from, and, uh, and I hope everybody's going to like it on board the ISS. And to go along, we'll have some beverages. I've got some um, packaged uh, cider and um, cocoa. Hot cocoa is one of my favorites, especially growing up in Iowa when you wanted to stay warm. And for some of the traditional U.S. meals, we're going to have turkey. Um, it comes in a pouch up here, but we'll have turkey for us to eat along with fruit salad. And what else do we have? I know we've got green some beans green beans and potatoes and some mashed potatoes, which are coming out there dehydrated, and some cornbread stuffing. And uh, we have plenty of desserts to go along with these things as well. We have cran apple dessert, which is like a cobbler, um, as well as some chocolate cake. So uh, we're going to eat very well up here at Christmas. Um, and of course, we're all going to miss our family members and wish we could be with them. But we're going to have a great time up here. And uh, like Tomas said earlier, we're going to reflect on what this whole season means to us and our families. So from the Expedition 50 crew, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.